So our question is, oops, we're having a little delay. Our question, Jonathan, where can I meet and how can I keep a great guy? Great question, Jonathan, where can I meet and how can I keep a great guy? And um, I love this question because so many women come to me and said, where are all the great men? I live in Los Angeles and there's no great men in, out there. I live in Dallas, there's no great men out there. How can I meet a great guy? Where are all the great guys and how can I keep a great guy? And I thought this was a really good question to lean into today because I know many of you are frustrated with the dating, mating and relating process, especially with the fact uh, that um, so few of you actually believe that there are good men out there. I'm gonna repeat that, so few of you, or so many of you believe that there are so few good men out there. And I wanna change that narrative because the reality is, is there are really good men out there. There are good men out there. They're the policemen, they're the firemen, they're your dentist, they're your accountant, they're the, you know, they're the people that fix your cable, <laughs> just to name a few, they're your plumbers. There, I mean, I'm, and those are professions that can go both for men and women. But what I'm here to say is there are good human beings out there. The challenge is from a meeting perspective is we are no longer in an environment where we meet people in our daily lives. I'm gonna repeat that. We are no longer in an environment where we meet people in our daily lives. And what I mean by single eligible people, and for those who follow my work know my specialty is midlife which is after baby making years and before retirement. I'm a coach. Just as a reminder, you can schedule a free discovery call on the link below um, if, to see if working with a coach is right for you. But my specialty is that. And so for us in midlife, it's even progressively harder to meet people. I, I'm, and as I said before, it's a clusterfuck out there, especially with these dating apps, um, going on, it's progressively getting harder and harder because the reality is, is we're meeting total strangers. We're meeting total strangers. So I can understand, I just want you to know that this frustration that many of you are feeling is a very valid frustration. We have every right to be frustrated because the reality is, is most people, you know, right now, online dating probably represents where 50% of all new relationships are happening for those over 45 years old. And I suspect within 10 years, that number might be 90%. Think about it. Night could be, I'm not saying it is, it could be 90%. We're meeting these blank people. And the problem is with so many swiping, so many swiping, so many swiping, it's becoming progressively harder. And I just want you to know, I empathize with you in this regard. And the reality is, is there's great people around. The hard part is how do we get them together? I think one of the first things would be to be intentional about the process, especially with how you market yourself on these dating apps. And I can tell you, I can swipe from profile to profile and tell you from a man's perspective, most women's profiles look like crap. And by the way, most men's profiles look like crap. So the reality is, is first, it starts with creating a great presentation for yourself. Start with a great presentation for yourself. Shift the narrative and recognize that you're actually having to sell yourself to some degree. And when I say sell yourself, is let me reframe that, to promote yourself. But the second part of the question really relates to how do you keep a great guy? Folks, I'm here to say is most humans are terrible at being in relationships. Let me repeat that. Most humans are terrible at being in relationship. And part of that is because they don't know the mechanics to a healthy, happy relationship. And this is why I continually, over and over and over again, recommend the book, Eight Dates, Eight ba Dates by Drs. John and Julie Gottman. I highly recommend you reading this so you can learn the mechanics to, the healthy, to a healthy, happy relationship. Thankfully, many of my, not just my clients, but many of you are purchasing the books I recommend because these books are actually great guides rather than the bullshit narrative. Listen, let me tell you something. I was recently, I don't know why, watching a daytime TV show where there was uh, some dating coaches on and I'm listening to the narratives. And I mean, it's so egoic based. 
it's so egoic based. It's very much based like the book, The Rules, which is a very egoic, manipulative way to temporarily attract a relationship. Let me repeat that. It's very egoic, temporary way to attract a relationship, but ultimately you, you can attract a relationship temporarily but if you don't have the components to make a healthy, happy relationship, it's going to be very difficult. Those of you know, I created my relationship iceberg, relationship iceberg. And I have something new to share with you today on the relationship iceberg. But you can see on the top line, the above the water line is attraction. Above the water line is attraction. And the tip of the iceberg is chemistry. And we all know that chemistry is hugely important for a relationship. But below the water, which is compatibility, is shared values, blendable lifestyles, and emotional maturity. These are the necessary components to create a healthy, happy relationship. And what happens is as your values, as you share the same values, have emotional, um, blendable lifestyles and emotional maturity, this water line actually starts to go down and there's more, because you're compatible, there's more attraction between the two of you. When two people are feeling shared values, their lifestyles are blendable and they have emotional maturity, they feel more and more attracted to one another. And this is how we create epic love in relationship. So I'm here to suggest if you, a, if you want to meet a person, the reality is, is online dating is about the number one place. And it starts by being intentional with creating a great profile for yourself. Promote yourself the best you can. And then to, be, to keep a great relationship, it requires doing some personal development work, self-help and spiritual work prior to meeting, and then be intentional about your relationship and purchase two copies of the book, Eight Dates by Drs. John and Julie Gottman. Purchase two copies and go through the work together. And I promise you, if you do this advanced work, if you do this work in advance, you have a greater chance of keep finding and keeping a great relationship, which will eventually turn into, and I hope, epic love. So for that person that asked the question, I want to thank you so much. That was a great question. All right. Time to take questions from the group. 